Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Siblings React and Drink. Woo! My name is Rick, this is my lovely sister. Janice. And today we're bringing you a very good movie, like always. <laughs> we're celebrating Black History Month, so I yep. thought this was a fitting movie. You haven't seen it. I have not seen it, so that's going to be very interesting. I'm... It's from the 90s, so I can't remember much of it. I know the history of it. Mm. I haven't even said the name of the movie. What are we watching? <laughs> We're watching the Tuskegee Airmen. Perfect. Tuskegee Airmen, uh, they're the first African-American fighter pilots during World War II. I think they were called the Fighting 99th, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Who's it with? So it's a pretty much all-star cast, but you know I love Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba okay. Green Jr., and I, I'm going to love seeing the dynamic between the two of them because we just saw them in uh, Boys in the Hood. That's right. So That's I'm kind of right. curious about that. But there's a, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of known actors in this. There's also so the guy that. from The Cosby Show, I believe. Oh, yeah, M Malcolm Jamal Warner. Yep, he's one of them. I, f I forget who else is in it. I, I, I just kind of briefly looked, you know, at the names and stuff. Yeah, like. I'm just going by yeah. memory. Can't mm -hmm. remember who else, but... All-star cast, yeah, even back in the 90s, they were all stars, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, 95? 95. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yep, and then, of course, we have a drink, which today we're having uh, mimosas. Nice morning drink here. Cheers. It's in the a.m. here where we are. Uh, got up early so Ooh, we can watch this that movie. That's good. There you go. Champagne and what? What kind of type of juice? Oh, this one is an apple cranberry juice. Wee oui, so, wee. Oui. All right. And oh, it's yeah. spumante, so it's on the sweeter really side. Really bubbly. Yep. Extra sweet. Love it. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. Before we start this movie, I want to give a shout out to my friend, Eric. It's a good friend of mine and haven't seen him in a while. His father is one of the original Tuskegee. Oh, really? Wow. Tuskegee. Uh, Tuskegee. 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 Man, I just took a sip of this uh, champagne and I'm already stuttering. <laughs> Tuskegee Airman. <laughs> and yeah, he did tell me some, some cool stories about his, his dad. I bet. Yeah. Um, so. Interesting. Just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, excellent. Thanks. And we're starting this in, oh, it's a PG-13 movie. What does it say? Wartime, adult, language, oh, violence. Not wartime, violence. Violence and adult language. All right. Based on a true story. I'm pretty sure I saw this. Because there's another one in the, in the... Yeah. After two in the 2000s. Lawrence Fishburne. That uh, it was based on them also. Yeah. Courtney Vance. Courtney Vance. Used to be an ER. Sometimes I'm telling you, from when, you, from when you're a little kid, you know exactly what you want to do. Is this guy going to crash or is he just saying hello? Shit. Uh-oh. Are they landing or are they crashing? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Wait for me. Sneak attack by the Japanese in Hawaii. So that was him? When he was yeah, little? okay. Yeah. 1942, December, of course. Yeah, man. Three countries declare war on everybody mm. Germany, Italy, and Japan. So he signed up. Man, he's taller than Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Lawrence is Or is he on a tall. higher level? I always thought Lawrence was, a tall, was tall. He is. He's, this guy is taller so, than him. Yep. Yeah. Well, he grew up in a farm, I guess, but it looks like he probably had money or something. Yeah. To be a pilot, you have to be... College, you have to have college. Uh, oh, look, they're coming to there in Chicago. You see any lipstick <laughs> on me? 
Lipstick? No. No? <laughs> Francis sure did. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, she probably slapped it off. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so young here. Like, he looks, you know. Wait, what's in the ER? Oh, the ER's from the 80s? 80s, right? I don't remember now. No, it was probably, like, a little later. I was on your way to Tuskegee. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you do? Finally. <laughs> yes. Block. Uh, Lennox in 125th. Just guess a New Yorker. From a small town in Iowa. A tomb one. Iowa. Well, he just got on, so maybe he's from Chicago. Colored folk. Yeah. They used to call him Blacks. Instead right of... next to me. Well, he said Harlem. That's, that's very good. Oh, so you did take that test. <laughs> that is as good as mine, which is one zero zero. But congratulations wow. on being second best. <laughs> 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 Jesus, really? Move it up front now. Let's go. Well, they're, all right, all right. they're in the south now. Excuse me, please. Wow. Oh yeah, this guy too. Call you on is now for white folks only. Oh. That's why you can't know. He's the one from Dawn of the Dead. Oh, that's song. right. Yeah. Okay, the yeah, the pregnant wife. The zombie babies. Yeah. Daddy. Strange leaving, boy. Either get on or back off. Man. Oh. Give him a little. Give him my uniform and he's <laughs> power tripping. So German prisoners of war were treated better, basically. They were white, so. E. Oh, there's uh, Theo. There he is. <laughs> now, what's his name in the Cosby Show? Theo. That's me. Theo yeah. Huxtable. Theo Huxtable. You're right. You're military right. right. The drill sergeant, huh? Damn, man, you're just off the train, you're already like oh, yeah. hit the when ground. You get running. off the bus, usually the bus brings them there, and even now, oh. you're screaming oh, and yeah. yelling starts. Welcome to Tuskegee Army Airfield. I'm Colonel Noel Rogers, the commanding officer. Now that you are here, the only obstacle you will encounter will be how quick you learn. How well you obey orders, mm. and how there are people in very high places wondering if this will succeed. Our business is killing our enemies from the air as efficiently and expeditiously as we know how. Mm. Now, Major. All right, nice, nice speech. They have their marching orders there. This guy has always been a. Uh, oh, yeah. Why did you join the. Asshole. <laughs> did movies back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your country. Boy, are you stupid? Oh, my God. Your country's full of apes and gorillas. Malaria. Missionaries. Ain't no gorillas in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> to my knowledge, the Germans aren't sparing the colors. <laughs> to my That's knowledge, the colored aren't true. up to fighting the Germans, let alone beating them. You are nothing. Jesus. Special. You're nothing, but you're <laughs> going to be here and you're going to do it. Even told him, special. <laughs> Including you, I guess, you, Lieutenant. You just, I hope you were paying attention. Yeah. You got to know how to answer the, each one. Is President Roosevelt is Commander-in-Chief. At the bottom is it's you. you. Mm. Everything you need to know has the words U.S. Army Air Corps written on the cover. <laughs> if it doesn't... Yeah, so don't read nothing that... <laughs> no private books or whatever, you know? I yeah. guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, 6.30, they start doing uh, pretty... Stick was born ready. <laughs> he probably popped out his mama with a full bomb load. <laughs> 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 well, what might that name be there, Reverend Bookworm? Stick or rudder? <laughs> Peoples. Walter Derrick, the third. Hannibal Lee, Jr. Pre-med. Lewis Johns, English literature. 
<laughs> Roy Jonas Cappy, art history. Yeah, they're all college grads, see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for pre-med, you need to have a bachelor's, right? Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. Take one and pass them back. Mm, I remember those days at school. <laughs> you need to pass everything back. You're like... Yeah. Sir, I believe we've already taken this test. Yep. No, I believe you'll take it again. Mm, he wants to see if they Please really... ask why, sir. Although it is your privilege to live in the air, it is your destiny to die by fire. Many of you will mm. wash out before you ever set foot in an airplane. Others will die during primary flight training. Wow. Still others in, in an airplane before. Yes, sir, when I was in college, sir. I have a pilot's license, sir. Get a tip mouth shut. Yeah, right? Wow. Oh shit. Free dive or whatever this is called. How you doing back there? What about a loop? <laughs> 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 fell asleep. <laughs> wow, well, the whole class only two I guess uh, have been up have been on the yeah. plane. Mm-hmm. I want you to read your flight manual cover to cover and know it, like the Holy Bible. Yes, sir. That goes for all of you. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. I just want to serve my country, sir. What country? You don't have a country. God damn uppity talk back Joe was his name. All three. Massel shut his mouth, then turned to me. He was he's a literature oh, guy, right? My great granddaddy told me that sitting on his knee. Hmm. Mm. It's a hell of a bedtime story. <laughs> yeah, because they're all from different parts. This guy's yeah. from Harlem. Yeah. These men have all previously been tested. What possible reason could you have for testing them again? The previous test scores themselves, sir. He didn't believe Guys, it. Many will stop at nothing to become one. Mm. Eliminating dishonest, untrainable cadets will save my staff time and aggravation. Here are the answers to your retest. They probably did even better. They, they all got a hundred yeah. stuff. Cadet Lewis Johns, nine to eight. Cadet Billy Roberts, 100. Cadet Walt Peoples, 100. Cadet Hannibal Lee, 100. Damn it, sir, there's a war on. Yes, Major, there is. So train them. That's why they're there, right? Not... Hmm. Well, their, their job is to weed out, I mean, anybody. But yeah, I guess they already took a test. I mean, he doesn't like them, basically. That's, right. That's the, he's he told racist. them. He's <laughs> racist, so. He told them. <laughs> All right. Finally. Oh. Recover, cadet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Recover, cadet. Recover. Oh no. Yeah, see, see Recover, you gotta learn to do that. Step on the ball. I like to step on his balls. <laughs> oh no. Oh. This the only one person has the controls. Not if you don't believe in God, you better find a damned good substitute. Hmm. Oh, he's quitting. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that that's serious people. shit. <laughs> he's like, I'm out of here. Even nowadays, I mean, people can, ha you know, in all branches, they, they can't hack it or whatever. They can't and they commit suicide in training, whatever. It's the press, too much pressure. Yeah. For some people. Bradley, mm -hmm. Wade, and Patterson. Wade just broke down and walked off the base. And Lewis, we're not all gonna make it. When we first got here, this barracks was filled. Look at it now. Yeah. Well, once you're in when combat, guys ten old, things gonna happen. Halfway. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Look, I said I don't know, okay? No. Now the question is, are you gonna make it? Because if you don't think you will, you won't. Are you going to make it? Yeah. <laughs> Fighting men of the 99th, send them down below, for we are heroes of the night. To hell with the axe's might. Right. Fight flying cross a flame, oh God. Red, white, and he destroyed a plane and he. 
the instructor was there too, right? He died too. Cheers to everyone that uh, it's a pilot uh, training here. How about those guys that teach kids how to drive? <laughs> Learning how to fly in these old uh, older planes from World War One. Yeah. Sir, I'm giving you the opportunity of killing yourself without taking me with you. Uh, oh Sorry. my God. You're shot a pattern. He's to a full stop. <laughs> All right. Full stop, I guess, means landing. And yeah. And then go taking off again. Yeah. Probably. All right. I still don't have him grasp the... <laughs> Any questions on the film you just saw? Hmm. Sir, where's Major Joy? I was assumed that he was teaching air combat techniques. Then why is that? Another assumption. Hmm. Yeah, because they... So I guess they're not the first pilots. <laughs> you are looking at the only one with actual air combat mm. experience. Wow. He's behind enemy lines, and both times I escaped. Shut down Your twice. Job oh, there we go. Is to teach you basic air combat tactics. Hey, people, you're supposed to be trying to get away. <laughs> yeah? Well, you're looking at the man who put the dog in dog fight. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> make me to believe you just made that up. Where'd you learn it? Same place I learned this. The book is ready. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's gonna get in trouble. Is <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get kicked out? But I've seen the air corps. Would you trust that pilot on your wing in combat? He's one of the few that I would trust. <laughs> well, these men arrived. I told them no corners would be cut for them. They're going to have to be held to the high standards of the service. Oh, man. It's wartime, man. We need pilots. Yeah, for that standard to be higher than any other group of men. There you go, see? Keep making it simple, harder. Simple. Want a refill? Yes. Pausing. We got refills, more mimosas. Cheers. And we're back from the pause. I said that we'll be all, Major. Save your smart remarks. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, it's not your airplane, dude. Oh man, that sucks. I can understand. I wish there was something I could do. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I know he feels terrible about it. Walter! There's little margin for error here. Yeah, he feels terrible. But I mean, they told him timidity is not gonna get you anywhere. You know, you gotta be a. Uh, you know, and these guys are like, they're hot shots. That's what they call hot shot pilots. You know. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake, sir. It won't happen again. That's right, peoples. It won't. You're out. I got a right to fight for what I believe in like anybody else. I'm the best pilot in this damn place. Oh, oh, guys going crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, please don't get yourself killed, you know? People committing suicide? We're doing something, like, stupid, you know? I guarantee you. Is he going to kill himself? Oh no! He wants uh, the house of the dragon. Remember that the girl said, "I uh, want a dragon's right or death." Oh, fuck, man! Fuck. I mean, not only did he kill himself, he could have killed other people. What the hell? Yeah, a little close to the hangar. Jesus. <laughs> 
man. What a waste, man. Total waste. I mean, he could have joined, go to Canada or go to England. Like the England, other guy, right? Was, the pilots do. Yeah. A lot of countries were. Oh, man. If you really wanted to be a pilot. They oh. killed him. Hannibal, they killed him. Major Joy set out to break him, and he did. Mm. Just as clean as if he put a carbine to his head. I mean, he might as well just forget it and send us home. You want to go home, Cappy? Shove off. Don't you see? That's what he wants us to do. He wants us to quit. He wants us all to wash mm. out. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not, not you, mm. not Major Joy, not the goddamn Commander-in-Chief himself. You reading me, Train? <laughs> there you go. Huh? Gotta play the game, I guess, you know. Yeah. Gotta play by their fucking rules. Right. But. You lost a friend today, and I understand how you feel. Good. Gotta get used to that too, you know. Yeah. Friends die in our business, and for a lot of reasons. And the only protection you have against losing one is not to have any. As you were. This is just training. What's going to happen when there's the enemy shooting at you? You know, you're going to lose a lot more friends. Right. That's pretty bad. Oh man, look at that. Oh, and that country road's gonna have to. It's gonna have to land. Oh man, is he gonna land there? Look like around there. Oh, right. going to land it. Yeah. All right. But this guy. Yeah, wait until it sees who's the pilot. Like <laughs> Just a little engine trouble. Yeah, he's not gonna like that. Bitch. Mm. They're niggers. <laughs> hey man, they're uh, what do you call it? A uh, sample. Lieutenant Roberts. Got his wings. All right. Woo! Excellent. She look at his fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's his parents. Yeah. It's a tall guy. Lieutenant Lee. Man, this guy hates it. The hell. What you men have accomplished, given the odds against. Oh, they're lieutenants now, right? Mm -hmm. They got their yeah. Because they were cadets, so yeah. now they're lieutenants. You are now United States Army. Air Corps Aviators. Alright. First color cadets. That means a national unity that can know no limit. They had doctors that used to say that, you know like they the couldn't have black black uh, couldn't have, have black pilots because of their night vision or something. Mm. A lot of BS. Yeah. They really tried to prevent that yeah never understand that mm. so I think this might inject a little courage the more timid of our colleagues what's that it's a scientific study oh that I oh there it is yeah. by the intellectual capacity of the nigger in respect to the operation of complicated machinery ie a frontline war plane is oh questioned. they're questioning now, like their ability vessels in the blacking out and losing control might very well explain them might, might very well same doctors that said that uh, smoking cigarettes was good for your health. <laughs> right now it's under lock yeah, and key. Yeah, seriously. As God is my witness, hmm. those boys will never see combat. Wow. That's so stupid, you know? So idiotic. Six months later, you know, they're still training, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. General Stevenson, I wish I had more time to pay for this visit, son. General. So the hell do I, Colonel? Oh. It's, um, I think he was the one, the father in, um, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. I'd say their progress is commensurate with the standards of the training command, ma'am. Plain English, Colonel. Does that mean you are or <laughs> aren't good? Then I want a ride in one of your airplanes. Oh, oh my God! I want to ride with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good choice. He's already in the plane. Yeah. Not a problem. And when I'm finished, you can also tell me why these pilots are still here and not overseas fighting mm -hmm. for their country like the rest See? of our boys. No. There you Talk go. To freaking Congress people. Yeah. <laughs> it's turned into a beautiful day for an airplane ride. 
<laughs> yes, <ma 'am. laughs> He's like, uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, what else can you say, man? Right? What's the excuse now? You're going to be first lady. Look, Morocco. We went to Morocco. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me I spelled your name wrong, sir. <laughs> I mean, I can you screw up the league? <laughs> I spelled it right. Take care of your plane just like it was my own. <laughs> All right. I want to welcome you men to North Africa. For those of you who don't know me, there we go. Uh huh. Colonel Benjamin I was waiting for him. And the many obstacles that have been thrown in your path, mm -hmm. you have arrived. Damn straight. Crazy. B.O. Davis. You know, he's a lot shorter than what I picture. Yeah, well, West Point will do that to a colored man. <laughs> what do you mean? It means that he, like Walter wow. said, just a matter of focus. Mm -hmm. Hey, train, we're starting up. Oh. Yeah. It's a matter of focus. <laughs> it's priorities, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. My pride more important you know, so than my goal. The jackets look nice and warm. Oh, oh yeah. Time is the Buffalo Soldier. <laughs> Day late and a dollar short. <laughs> wow. Take a seat, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Not by choice. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It wasn't a, with them or on them. You got to put up with all this bullshit, too. Mm. I said zero six. Yep, it did. I'd look again, Colonel. Bastards. <gasps> they changed it. They did. Same old, same old. <laughs> We're flying and you're up. Follow me and I'll brief you on the way. Sir. Hmm. Assholes, man. Yeah. Just changing stuff. That's not right. Here we go. The first mission. Yeah. Targets coming up just ahead. Over that ridge. We gotta Three. knock out the German supply trains. It's the time. Five. Oh, easy. Ready and fire! There you go. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, you son of a bitch! I got your mama! <laughs> got him. That looks like real footage right there. <laughs> the one they put later, like this? Yeah. I see Lieutenant Glenn trained you well. I like that. Thank you, sir. Nine months of practice didn't hurt, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I checked that. When do you think we'll be seeing some air combat, sir? You in a hurry to die, Lieutenant Lee? <laughs> no, sir, but we've been doing nothing but ground runs. The, yes, we your do. Your father being the first Negro appointed general in the United States military, sir. I think we all have something to prove. <laughs> Don't you dream, Amen. Jimmy? Oh, not? I'm rolling in. So far, they haven't been shot at yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's head for home. Okay, another uneventful mission. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Colonel wants to see us. Us? Us? Yeah, you guys, me. <laughs> Lieutenants Lee, Cappy, and Roberts reporting his order, General. Oh, General, yeah, this guy. Relax, have a seat. I'm General Stevenson. This is Senator Conyers. Oh, great. Mm. You're the one who took her up? Yes, sir. <laughs> she can barrel roll with the best of them, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We have critics back in the States, Lieutenant. I wasn't aware of any criticism, sir. Well. I'm the number one critic. Oh, well. Right here. <laughs> Great. Attitude problems, fellow officers, poor formation discipline, cowardice. Excuse me? Jesus. Lieutenant, hmm. I'm not interested in practiced excuses. I thought I made that clear. Oh, how maddening. Well, no mind if I take you for a ride along, <laughs> Senator? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably gonna punish oh, him man. by sticking him behind a desk. Oh. Lord knows it's the worst thing you can do to a pilot. That's that oh, was uh sure shooting kill shit bandits two o'clock. Here we go. Finally some action. Let's get them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're there for, you know? What Dying they're for action. That's their job. Uh, they won't attack us if we stick together. Here's our chance for some kills. Come on! Yeah, always somebody's gotta go rogue and then Stuck and go sideways. Man. Yeah. Get him off me. 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 Get him off
Oh, shit! Oh, we're on the knee. Got you dead in my sights, you son of a bitch. Mm. Ah, missed him. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. That's... I'm gonna have to jump. Fuck. Oh, fuck. The clinic, you know, we just can't. Oh, man. Oh, the legs busted and. Yeah, panic. Oh, they've had to see so many people die, you know. Not obeying orders, she. I mean, he did go rogue. That's, you can't yeah. do that, you know. On a colored pilot recently shot down in North Africa after breaking formation, as a description, impulsive, quite appears the appropriate terminology. Yeah, like nobody else Maybe is impulsive. Come on. Yeah, it could be anybody. Gentlemen. Hmm. This experiment certainly had noble beginnings. Mm. So they call it an experiment too? Evident and glaring. Well, they were the first ones, yeah. Yeah. So. But. To give a representative of the accused an opportunity to defend himself. Oh good, yeah, at least give them a chance. What the hell, man? <laughs> We've been in continuous combat for months with no replacements, sir. Yeah, how would they not be tired? How many missions yeah. have your men flown, Colonel? Most have flown well over 50, which Boom. is standard. And not one air to air kill. Is that right? We can't fight what we don't see. What I see is a unit that's an embarrassment to the Air Corps, to the American people, and to themselves. My vote is that we abandon the project and move the agenda. All we asked for was a chance to prove ourselves. Uh, but you invite us to a poker game, hand us a fixed deck, and then wonder why we can't win. Young man, we really don't... Let him finish, sir. Every one of those men carry not only the burden of their dreams of becoming American military aviators, but the hopes of an entire people. Am I the only one in this room that understands just what that means? Yeah. Her the show. I was brought up to believe the cheers I heard across this country when Joe Lewis and Jesse Owens humiliated Hitler's master race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you? As a United States Army officer who gladly puts his life on the line every day, there's no greater conflict within me. To be Americans when the mood suits you. Right. That's what it seems like. A fair and impartial opportunity is all we ask. Nothing. <laughs> That you yourselves wouldn't demand. Well, this is an argument that we put to be what? more in danger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. Well, yeah. Bombers were have to be escorted by the smaller planes. Mm. Oh, there's a need for them here, you know, in the front. <laughs> yeah. But for political reasons, they wouldn't let them be in the front, you know, fighting in front. Yeah. Some stupid agenda. I put that's the shit into the stick. Mm. So they were coming back, I guess. A fighter escort never even made the rendezvous point. Me, I got parts of four kids all over that town countryside because of their limp dick excuses. Captain, take your seats, gentlemen. Son of a bitch. The colonel's gone full bird. <laughs> <laughs> I have good news. It's not the punishment. It's not so good news. There's a colonel now. We're going to Italy. All right. I see some action, huh? The 99th Pursuit Squadron will be joined by three new squadrons from Tuskegee. Mm. The 100th. 301st and 300 flying fortresses are taking heavy losses and need effective cover. Mm. Sir, with all due respect, why don't they let the white pilots cover them? I don't have time to lay it all up. <laughs> and if certain people had their way, coming back carrying rifles, if we came back mm -hmm. at all. 
Yeah. Still complaining. I mean, take, take what, what you, you can get, get for man. now. Yeah. Call me Train. Hey, Train. Well, fellas, welcome to Ramatali. Hey, right this way. By the time you showed up, Lieutenant, I thought I shook you in North Africa. Not a chance, sir. Damn, it's good to see you. <laughs> mm, no, Thanks. Right, right. By the way, Colonel, I still do. Still say do my what, prayers. <laughs> still say my prayers at night. Uh. <laughs> 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 Mustangs. The other ones were P-42s, I think. These are Mustangs. Oh, P-51B. Red tail. Do you like it? It ain't loud enough. It ain't the whole goddamn tail, that tank. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. Bomber losses to enemy action are unacceptably high. Yeah, the bombers are winning the war. There's a red tail. Girls, all dressed up and no dates. Yeah, I think we've been stood up. Not a B-17 in sight. Hang on. Holy shit. Let's clean him up. Where the hell? Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Who is that? <laughs> now they're like, finally, <laughs> somebody came to help you. Moment of truth, Jerry. We live in the air. We die by fire. Out of here. There you go. And my regards to the Fuhrer. I don't know. The 99? Oh no, they're called the. Yeah, 99. Well, I gotta find them. I got a bottle of whiskey for both of them. Saving our asses. <laughs> hey, you might try Ramatelli. We're getting new escort assignments. They might be one of them. Right, I'll check. Listen, we're B 17 bomb group based to Foja, and we're looking for the pilots who were up at Clevin yesterday. That was us? <laughs> don't mention it. So where are they? Right here. Pilots, <laughs> boy. Came up here to see pilots. Mm. You're looking at them. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at them. Colored? Colored, yes. Lock, stock, and pilot. <laughs> Where's the bottle of whiskey? Yeah, give them the bottle of whiskey, you promised. Or you have for them. Let's get out of here, Lieutenant. Really? <laughs> How wow. stupid. They saved your lives, dumbasses, you know? Save their asses, and they got the nerve to be insulted. Shit. Makes you want to hurt somebody. What folks? There's oh, I forgot he's lefty. I always say that, right? Every night. <laughs> My father had a friend who fought in the First World War. He's one of the first colored soldiers in France. This we found him in Georgia. Ah. In his uniform. Oh man. Why would you want to fly for a country that thanks you by lynching you? Man. Well, but that I wasn't like the whole country, though. Yeah, of course. This feeling of respect. I even got some satisfaction out of the look on those white fellas' faces <laughs> today when they found out it was us that saved their <laughs> We weren't even their assignment. Lieutenant, let me give you a little uh, sociology lesson. I think being from California and all, you might be a little bit confused. I know how they think. And I know how they live, and I can tell you with complete certainty what they are and are not capable of. Mm. Wow. So forget about it. Wow. Well, the fact so that they're from I'll those two tired. states Both tells you the difference in their way of thinking, you know? Yeah. Wait a second, what is that? Boat. Mm -hmm. Ship. Below. Yeah. Looks like a German destroyer. Oh, let's get them. Hey. Thinking what I'm thinking. Secondary targets. <laughs> they, were, they were accused of not finding secondary right. targets. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Bottom line is, we know what you did. We know it was a lucky shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's still and they're right on time. <laughs> Another fluke. Oh shit. Oh shit. Seven. Yeah. Roger that. Straighten up. Fly right. Train, you shake that buzzer down, boy. Roger that. 
Done. Come on, baby, come on. That's it, I got you. I got you. Done. Game over. Yeah. On your six, train. On your six. Oh, well, they're doing a good job. Yeah, make me nervous. Got him. Shit. Oh no. Right in the belly or chest or whatever. Oh man. Train, can you hear yeah, me? but train. Can you hear me, train? Shit. I got two more, Ayla. I saw you hit it, train. <laughs> I don't know, man. He got hit in the. Yeah. Billy. Four. Train. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. Oh, I guess they're all on the same channel now, right? They can communicate. Yeah. Listen to them. It looks like they were listening. Yeah. It's so messed up. Man. Shit. Mm. Oh, it's got to mail the letter. Oh, the other guy never wrote a letter. No. Engineer. Well, at least maybe now he learned his lesson. Make no friends. <laughs> Have no friends. That's like what the other uh, guy told him, yeah. He'll be attacking Berlin, son. Very hard hmm. in Germany. Every anti-aircraft gun in the region will be trying to stop you. Uh, why the change? How come our uh, our escort was changed from the 332nd to the? <laughs> <laughs> Speak up, Captain. We got a mission to run here. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, sir. Hurry up. And I want the 332nd as our escort. Hmm. Colored boys? Yeah. That's right, sir. Yeah. Now that you see I'll that they're it, saving your ass. I want the 332nd to take me to Berlin and back. Okay. Distinguished flying cross. We're taking out the destroyer. General Crow will be here next week to officially present it to you. Well, I mean, if you're alive for next next week. Yeah, right. We're going to Berlin. Oh, promoted. Sir. Is rank? Is it captain now? Captain Lee. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And we weren't assigned. Mm. It was requested. We were requested. Yeah. Request line was open. In here, what does it say? The 15th Air Force delivered a massive and successful raid on Berlin. The 332nd shot down three German jet fighters, the first jet planes of the war. Mm. Yeah, Germany, they were a lot faster than this, guys. Yeah. Of the real guys. I guess so. I wish they had their names on I know. Me too. 450 Tuskegee, Tuskegee Airmen were awarded more than 850 medals. That's awesome. A couple of years. Yeah, from 43 to 45. Sixty-six Tuskegee Airmen died in battle. Wow. They never lost a single bomber to any enemy action. That's amazing. Amazing. Good. Good movie. That was very interesting. So they lost how many? Sixty-six? Yeah. Awesome movie. What can you say, man? Hats off. Yeah. A lot of stuff you don't always hear about, you know? World War Two is a sub. I, mean, I know. I mean, it's you know, a lot of people volunteer for this. I know the draft was on also, but a lot of people volunteered, regardless of, of race. It was during the depression also that uh, got the country out of the depression. I guess because now people found work in the military. Right. So some people joined just to get a job, but people volunteered just for wanted to fight right. for their country. Right. You know? right. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And especially those K 
Kiki mm-hmm. Erman. Mm-hmm. First of anything, it's the toughest, I guess. Yeah, uh, of course. They're they're paving the way for others, you know. Yeah. Well, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for your service. Absolutely. And it's a great movie. Yeah. No, it was definitely very good, very interesting, and just shows a lot, you know. Yeah. A lot of sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. Hope you enjoyed this uh, movie and the reaction. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And like it. Thank you so much. All right. Later. Bye.